Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel, True Talk with Erica Salee. Listen, as a speaker, a self-help author, and a coach, I get excited about sharing strategies and methods to help women and organizations to figure out what stands in the way of their success. And sometimes, sometimes it is what we say to ourselves, right? What we believe, what we start embracing and embodying, even if that's not the truth. So here on this channel, uh, I'm going to be sharing a, a number of different stories, topics, experiences, all on the journey to transformation, right? What that looks like for me and hoping that that will translate to something that is helpful and useful for you. So here's the thing. We are at the beginning of a brand new year, and I know how it is when we are thinking about what we want to get accomplished in the new year. One of those things for many of us is around weight. Now, you might not have ever seen me or been in conversation with me before, but you might be seeing right now what I'm feeling, okay? Uh, and what I'm feeling is really not what I want to be feeling in terms of um, my weight. Now, I would like to say that uh, we're just out of the holiday season with the cakes and the cookies and the pies and the mashed potatoes and the french fries and whatever else we have been consuming over the course of the holiday. Let me say it the correct way, whatever else I have been consuming. I like to say that uh, because of the holiday, I have a couple extra pounds here. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> um, but I feel like something was happening even before the holiday started. And I'm confused by that because I work out on a consistent basis. So every week I work out at least four times a week, okay? There is a, a Zumba uh, application or Zumba workout that I do through the application Fit On. Fit On is a wonderful uh, tool that has lots of different options. So whether it's cardio, whether it's your legs, your arms, your booty, your thighs, your belly, whatever it is you want to work on, Fit On has it. So um, I have been doing this Zumba <clears throat> Uh, sizzle and sweat that I really, really enjoy because it's, it's quick and it incorporates so many different types of moves. And I feel like it's giving me a good workout. But my body is telling me that something else is going on. And so, and, and I don't eat a lot, a lot of junk. Um, I switch between a plant-based diet. Uh, I still do eat uh, fish and salmon, uh, salmon and, and, and uh, shrimp and things of that nature. And I've been eating more chicken. So I kind of mix it up and I'm like, well, what is going on? So let me just say it to you this way. I'm over 50. Now, there's lots of conversations that I've been hearing about being over 50 for women and what menopausal weight might look like. So I feel like that's probably a part of what's going on in my space right now. And so with all of that, here's what I'm telling myself. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, ooh, I don't really like what I'm seeing. Now, let me say this. This conversation is about my thoughts and my perspective about where I am and where I want to be. I recognize that it does not mean that every woman wants to lose weight or wants to get down to a size 10, 12, or whatever that may the case may be. Um, body shaming and fat shaming is a real thing, okay? So I'm not saying this to suggest that anyone who is of a certain weight should do X, Y, and Z, okay? What I am saying is that for me, Right now, I feel like I'm not feeling real comfortable about this body that I'm in, okay? Um, I notice some differences, like when I put on certain pants, and I'm like, ooh, got a little something hanging over. So, of course, there's the, uh, the slimming bras and body shapers that you can wear. And I'm like, I don't always want to do that. So, right now what I have to move out of my head, okay? And this is where the true talk part comes in. I have to move it out of my head that um, this is a place where I will always be, okay? You know how sometimes when we're trying to achieve a goal or we wanna get something accomplished and we're stuck in the space that we're in 
And it's not easy to see beyond that space because you're stuck in the space that you're in. So I've got to tell my mind something different. And that something different is if you want to do X, you can do X by doing Y or Z. Okay. In other words, if you want to make a change, you can make the change, but there are some things that come along with that. So the first thing, and this is something that there's always going to be a foundation of being here in this space, is that we have to tell ourselves something different. Okay. And in another conversation, I mean, talk about, you know, where some of those voices come from, where some of that negative energy and that negative self-talk comes from. That's not for today's conversation, but what I will say is that <clears throat> I first have to say to myself, you don't have to stay here. Like you don't have to stay here, girl. <laughs> this, um, you know, even down here in my thighs, right? You don't have to stay here. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is I've got to think about, well, if I am not going to or don't have to stay here, then how can I get to there? For me, there is now. Let me say, one of the things I learned years ago um, was to be very careful about saying, okay, well, I want to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, whatever it is. Not that you shouldn't set that as a goal, but sometimes we get so focused on the goal around the number without the practice of, well, how am I going to adjust that number? So... The thing that I have to focus on right now is that, yes, I know there is a number associated with what I want to shed. Um, I haven't had my physical yet, which should be coming up. That will be the first time that I will be on a scale since my last physical because I don't have a scale in the house. So sometimes we get consumed with the number, we get consumed with stepping on the scale, and then we don't think about what it is we have to do in order to help us achieve the goal. So, but this, in this case, I feel like I do want to figure out a number. I don't know what that number is yet right now, to be honest with you. Um, if I had to guess, if, if I were to step on the scale today, oh, oh I'm guessing, I'm going to say 240 maybe 245. Ooh. Now I'm 5'8", so my height helps to distribute the weight differently. If I were shorter, that weight would look different. Um, and that's just a number that I'm throwing out there. I don't know if that's the right number, but I'm going to go with that in my head. I'm going to say 245. If I were to use that number, I would say that I would want to lose at least 20 to 25 pounds, even 30 pounds. Now I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, that's a lot. So what I want to do instead of being consumed by that number is I want to focus on practice, okay? So sometimes we gotta get the thing out of our head that's going to distract us and get us tripped up on something without allowing us to focus on the real deal, okay? Which is the work behind it. So if that is the number that I'm throwing out there, then what I would say to myself is, so what are you going to do? All right. Now I told you I work out four to five times a week. I've been doing this Zumba exercise. So I've been doing a little bit of research, just kind of looking at, you know, what are some different things that I need to think about, incorporate, focus on. So here's what I've decided is that I am going to move to a three day a week HIT exercise, H-I-I-T, which I believe stands for high intensive um, interval training, or I might have it the other way around. So it's where you're doing a series of exercises um, in shorter increments, but you're, you're kind of hitting the, the various areas that you need to hit, okay? Um, so I'm going to focus on that. Now, I still do have my app that I use and I will continue to use that. So I may sprinkle in, uh, that Zumba that I enjoy because I, I like it. I enjoy it. But to, to shift, I'm going to do hit three days a week. Okay. Um, I'm also incorporating some different things in what I eat on those days, right? So I'm looking at options for like a, a healthy high carb diet and a healthy low carb diet and kind of switching those things up. So those are some of the things that I am doing in order to get myself prepared 
for this transformation that I desire for myself, okay? Now, somebody else may be looking at this and say, you know what, that's cool, you know what, I, I'm good. If I'm 5'8", I'm 235, 242, well, I'm good. That's okay, you might be thinking about transformation in another area, but for today, I'm just sharing with you how I had to shift myself, like get it out of my head. So the true talk that I'm saying to myself is, you know what, girl, you don't have to stay here. But in order for you to move, there are things that you have to do. There are adjustments that you have to make. So I want you to get a good look because uh, I'll be sharing <laughs> over the course of time how this transformation is happening, which makes me a little nervous because now I'm saying it to you. That means, oh, it's putting me on the hook, but that's that's a good thing. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> and all I can say is stay tuned, stay connected so that you go on this journey with me. So with that being said, uh, I am going to invite you to subscribe to my channel, to share it out with your friends because you might be hanging out with your girlfriends, with your guy friends, and y'all might be having the same conversation. Like, yeah, I need to do this. I'm looking in the mirror and I literally, I'm just like, oh, I, I just... I love me, but there's certain things that I don't like right now about me. And that's what I want to focus on. And that's okay because that just means there's room for growth. All right. So subscribe to the channel, share it out with those friends that you're having that conversation with, and there'll be more conversations like this about other topics along the way. So you don't want to miss out on that. And of course, turn the notification bell on so that you get updated on when new videos are uploaded. Okay. I don't know if that came out right, but you got it. All right. So listen, I look forward to seeing you all again real soon, but until I do, I want you to take care of yourselves and yes, be well.